What's happening, pretty people? What's happening once again? It's your host with the most, Mr. Ron, back with another episode of 40 Years of Hip Hop. And today, pretty people, we will be reviewing Ain't Saying Nothing by Divine Styler and the Scheme Team, which was released in 1989 on the album Word Power. Before we dive into this review, check out the G-Man, aka the Podcaster Master, as he does an in-detail review of this song. He really goes deep and gets that information you won't get anywhere else. Check him out at 40yearsofhiphop.buzzsprout.com. And this month, we are giving away an 11 by 17 limited edition retro poster. You can choose between Run DMC and the Beastie Boys, Summer Jam 95, Public Enemy, Eric B and Rakim, and last but not least, A Tribe Called Quest. And pretty people, the only thing you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel in order to get a chance to win. We're also working on our line of t-shirts manufactured by Champion. Check us out at 40yearsofhiphop.myshopify.com and coming soon, our Hip Hop Legends t-shirt series. Dress up your walls with display metallic posters. They come in different sizes and are easy to hang on your wall. We have produced seven original masterpieces and more are coming on the way. And party people support 40 years of hip hop as we are doing this out of passion for hip hop culture. And show us love by buying us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash 40 years of hip hop. And we thank you in advance party people. Okay, enough said. Let's get back to the review. So party people, this is definitely a G pick, okay, that I support 100%. Uh, the Vine Styler is the, a member of a Rhyme Femicate uh, crew. I first heard of him as he was put on by West Coast OG Ice-T, uh, and he was featured on this massive nine minute track, uh, this massive like nine minute posse cut. Uh, that was called uh, What You Want to Do from the album um, Iceberg, Freedom of Speech, but just watch what you say. Originality. Is this song original for the people? And if so, how? Well, I'm going to bring you back to 1989 when... And NYC, New York, the East Coast was just dominating the hip hop scene. But slowly and steadily, the West Coast were actually working on their own sound. And again, at that time, if you look who was happening, who was hot uh, uh, around that time, you have uh, Ice-T, N.W.A., Too Short, King T, J.J. Fat, you know, just like drop some women in there. And there comes Divine Styler, which with his abstract conceptual lyrics, uh, not having anything to do with the gangster vibe that was actually dominant on uh, uh, the West Coast. The way I see it, Divine Styler's verbals in general are original. Okay, they kind of like remind me a little bit of Del the Funky Homo Sapien. And uh, even MF Doom at times. And part of people courtesy of this club, this is why for orig originality, I give it a four on five. And the G-Man gave it a five. Ooh. Delivery. Delivery party people, which stands for lyrics and flow. I have to say that finding quotables was not that easy, okay? Again, conceptual and abstract, okay? And on top of that, the lyrics, hence the song, the concept, ain't saying nothing. The lyrics kind of like float around, but don't really actually get nowhere. Uh, cool concept, a little abstract, and it's one of those like you really have to be a fan of lyrics to definitely get into it and dive into it. So I went with um, the opening verse, okay? Cause that's the one that's like punched me in the face, you know? And again, I've heard this song hundreds of times. 
However, whenever you're reviewing a track for a review, it's a little different, you know? So, periodic measures to semi rhymes, too much of this dope Negro type slow. Off a poet's tree, let me blow my leaves, check off my roots, pull up my sleeve. Okay, so let me take a shot at this. Periodic measures to say my rhyme, so that means his lyrics are so tight and precise, it could be measured using uh, the periodic uh, table. And uh, too much of this dope Negro type slow, he means that there are too many black men that are reinforcing negative stereotypes like gang banging, dealing, you know, dope dealing, and pimping. Off a poet's tree, let me blow my leaf, okay? This one refers to him as the poet, and the trees is basically, let me, let me, let me speak my truth, you know? Shake off my roots and pull up my, my, my sleeve, meaning, yo, let's do this, let's get busy, you know? And again, I think that the highlight of the songs, uh, of this song are definitely the lyrics. Definitely, and party people, that's why I gave it a four on five, and the G-Man hit it up with another perfect score, five on five, that's right, that's right. So, production party people with beat, mixing, chicka chicka scratching if there's any. Produced by Divine Styler and Bilal Bashir, who also goes by uh, Bilal, and he was the main producer for uh, Rhyme Syndicate. Um, again, he produced for uh, Ice T, Everlast, Styles of Beyond, King, King T, you know, to say the least. Five samples deep, okay, but the main one that said to me was uh, Banbara uh, Shack Up, that's the drums from the track, really, really uh, uh, amazing. And of course, late IDs, you cannot get a beat without a James Brown uh, sample in it. So of course, uh, with talking loud but saying nothing from uh, James Brown. Late 80s beat, okay, nothing really stuck out from my point of view. Nothing really stuck out. There is that, that scream that of course we hear in Cypress Hill and uh, um, uh, where else did I hear it? Uh, House of Pain. Uh, but for me, the way I see it is just the middle of the road, uh, dope beat from the late 80s. And for that party people, I give it a three on five. And the G-Man, who's feeling quite generous, probably has a bad case of the five varieties because, yo, that's five, another five. That's right. And party people, yes, it's time for another top five, indeed. So, people, today we are going to be reviewing the top five best album from the late 80s best west coast album from the late 80s and again late 80s i'm saying 87 to 89 and we're going to start with ice t with the album power which was released in 1988 of course nwa straight out of the straight out of compton which was released in 1988 as well um too short life is too short which was released again in 1988 the DOC, No One Can Do It Better, 89. And King T, Act of Fool, which was also released in 1988. Party people, now, out of five releases, four are from 1988. And the reason why, uh, 1988 was a crucial year in hip hop culture. Uh, from my point of view, I think that 1988 was the year that hip hop, um, stop being like a trend or a fad and uh, was actually evolved to a valid art form. And so that's why, uh, again, there are so many albums from 1988 that figure on this top five. All right, party people. So is this song still relevant? Okay, was it able to stand the test of time? This is where it gets tricky. Okay, uh, I was looking for a reaction video, nothing. Reviews, uh, uh, nothing. Uh, on top of that, Divine Styler's first album was not a financial success. Uh, so needless to say, there was not a lot that I could play around with uh, for uh, relevance. And again, not even, I mean like true heads, not old heads, true heads 
are gonna know the Brian Styler party people. And this is why for relevance and longevity, I give it a two on five, and my man the G Money gave it a two on five. And impact party people. Was this song impactful? Well, it had its moments, okay? It had its uh, moments because it did peak at uh, number 10 on the Billboard Hot Rap Song. And the album did peak at number 62 on the R&B and Hip Hop album. So again, there was some type of movement there. But furthermore, what I'm really impressed at the type of hip hop that was charting back then something like that of that level i don't think would chart today again like i don't think like a doom track would chart the way that it did in the late 80s and this is why party people i gave it a 3.75 on 5 and the g-man gave it a 3.5 Party People, I came up with a total of 16.75 on 25 for a grand total of 67. And the G, which stands for generous, uh, piled up 21 on 25 for an overwhelming 84%. You go, G-Unit, that's right. Party People, once again, that was your host with the most. And Party People, comment, you know, uh, we're actually coming out to the end of uh, Volume three, 3, uh, Volume 2, okay, actually we are we already in the process of preparing the next volume, and that's right, party people, comment, you know, subscribe, like, share, you know, and I will be back next week for our season finale, party people, and once again, your host with the most, Mr. Ron, saying peace, happy on a Lulu, peace. And I'm out.